okay occasionally you may come across an image that you would like to add some steam to such as a shot of this coffee cup here just to add a bit of authenticity to it now there's lots of different ways of doing it but I'm just going to show you a very quick and simple way now all you need to do is first of all create a new layer to work on and we'll call that steam next you need to select the brush tool and the brush hardness should be set to zero so it's a soft brush and the diameter should be big enough to create a relatively thick piece of steam that we're going to show you in a second normal mode opacity 100% flow 100% and then all you need to do is make sure we're working on that layer which we are and then you just need to create two or three very basic simple steam lines like that let's just do two for now and then what we're going to do is select the smudge tool and just smudge that ever so slightly just just to make a take the edges away ever so slightly obviously you can play around with this as much as you like to smudge it but what we're going to do next is then go to the filters go to the blur filter and motion blur and you can adjust the distance whatever to whatever distance you like just to make sure that you get a, a good enough effect so you can see here if we spread that out a bit it starts to look quite authentic let's do it to about just there for now and then once you've done that you can just go to edit free transform and then transform that steam and add it where you like so let's put it right into the cup you can make it thinner thicker stretch it up a bit let's do it to about there and that's it you can also go to the layer and adjust the opacity of that layer just to knock it back ever so slightly and and just keep playing like this until you get to a point where the steam looks relatively authentic um, so that's basically it if you just give that a practice that very simple technique have a go see if you can get it to work and also just google um, adding steam in Photoshop and you'll find lots of different tutorials but that is just a very simple way to do it and it adds a bit of authenticity to a shot um, so like I say have a play and let us know how you get on